Hello and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host Brian. We're going to wrap up this week's theme of infectious groove, looking at tracks that just make you want to move your body. Today we're going to be looking at the group MS Paint, featuring Military Gun with the song Delete It, off of the album Post American, which came out in 2023. We've done MS Paint a couple of times, although something tells me that it's only been on live stream, right? Regardless, let's dive into this and see what MS Paint is bringing to the table today. Okay, there's the groove. The verse is kind of awkward rhythmically though. I can't wait to dive into that a little bit. Interesting decision to bring in this strong element of melody here at the end. Those offbeat accents. It's a very catchy chorus though. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an interesting track. I, I was a little concerned initially because the groove didn't really feel like it was there. And a lot of that comes down to the awkwardness of our verse where we have the four on the floor on the drums, the uh, organ keyboard thing that's in the background is also giving us primarily eighth notes but the emphasized beats are not always on the downbeat like it is with the drums and the vocals are also giving us a constant eighth note although not consistent it's groupings of eighth notes with pauses around them but they have also a different inflection pattern than the the organ does and so we do have a consistent rhythm as far as uh, the lengths of notes but we have different accent patterns which are creating different grooves and they're kind of clashing into something that feels almost a rhythmic part of my brain says yes here's the beat how could you not find it and the other part of my body that just grooves the stuff says yeah there's no groove here <laughs> this is so hard to move my body to and i found that to be wild the schism there between what's written on paper and what is actually felt in the music. And I was a little concerned. I was like, ah, dude, this for Groove Week? That's, ah, it's going to be like uh, that other track we listened to. What was it, Wednesday? I can't remember what song that was. That I was a little, I, I couldn't get into the groove on it. I was surprised it was uh, selected or requested. But, uh... 
the chorus comes in and just kicks it up and everything synchronizes again into this nice syncopated groove of having a consistent backbeat from the drums and then a bit of syncopation elsewhere. Uh, and it creates something that's very groovy, especially when you bring in the uh, vocal rhythmic inflections um, at the middle point of the phrase. I don't remember what word comes after it, but the sentence starts with I... I want or I need or something like that. And we actually start it a couple beats early and hit these eighth notes and go ah, 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 and create this rhythmic element there to tide us over from one sentence to the next while uh, in including something rhythmically in the music to keep that groove consistent, to have this point where everybody is in on all of these eighth notes and it creates this moment of rigidity before we uh, desync just a hair to create that syncopation and it's just it's this beautiful beautiful idea there in the chorus so yeah i was really glad to have that the bridge got kind of awkward again with rhythms but we came back hard on that chorus and, and ended strong too so yeah, I'm, I'm glad we got to check this out for, for Rhythm Week, Groove Week, whatever you want to call it. Now, there is, there is something really interesting here. This is a very punky song, I think, from the vocal delivery to the simple in-your-face drums the two of those together give me a level of an aggression and simplicity that I associate with punk music. But I would be hard-pressed to call this punk. Is this post-punk? The sounds of punk with different structure and writing to it? One of the things that stands out to me is actually the harmony. The chord progressions on this thing and the way that the melodies are written. It's it's felt throughout the track, but I think it's most prominently felt in the bridge and in that final chorus. You listen to the, the organ, the, the keyboard, whatever it is playing, and it has a bright, optimistic sound to it, doesn't it? It's not really heavy. It's kind of light and plucky. There's no harmonic weight. It's not dark or aggressive. It's optimistic light. It's not a sound I typically hear with the aggressive delivery of the vocals like this with the heavy drumming. There's a dexterity to the melodies and harmonies of this song that seem to run in opposition to the way that the songs are generally uh, written and the way that they sound, the instruments utilized, the timbres focused on. I found that to be quite interesting. I don't know if I enjoyed it yet. It's going to take a couple listens. It's 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 just it's unusual to me. It's like hearing a dog bark. After you hear that dog bark, no, dang, a dog always barks. It's like listening to a cat bark. The first time is going to be very alarming. What? How is this possible? After you've done it for a year, well, that's just the sounds my cat makes. It's normal then. This has not had a chance to become normal for me. This is this is wildly eclectic to my ear. Such aggressive, angry vocals with such light, optimistic sounds paired with them. It's neat. I'll give it that. And unique. And that's always a good thing. I think the last thing I want to touch on, this is sort of a short, simple song, so I'm not going to have a lot of um, analysis for this one. But the last thing I want to touch on is going to be the vocal delivery, which is yelled, of course. There is a shouty, punk kind of uh, shouting thing to it. But it's also kind of hip-hop. The aggressive hip-hop that's coming into fashion lately uh, with rappers like uh, Denzel Curry. I think um, I'm not too well versed in my hip hop artists, but I think he's one of the ones who are bringing a more aggressive delivery style uh, to the forefront. So it's not something that's completely unique, I think. But it is interesting to hear this. I, I hear a punk song 
it granted a, a brighter, happier one, but I don't hear the typical delivery, the, the rhythmic pulses of punk delivery. It is shouted, I think the timbre fits, but the way that it's presented seems to give a larger emphasis on the words and the syllables themselves than punk tends to be. That is to say that punk tends to be a pretty simple style of music by design. It's supposed to be aggressive in your face and easily understood. That simplicity works its way into the lyrical writing as well and the lyrical delivery. And here, while the music to me does feel a bit on the simpler side, the lyrics of it don't, or I should say the lyrical quanti quality of it doesn't feel simple. There feels like there is a ton of information uh, put into them and a, a ton of... Um, intentionality behind specific words and phrases and syllables. That is to say that it doesn't feel like he's just saying whatever he wants. Each word seems to be specifically chosen, not for maximum impact of language, but also maximum impact of rhyme or syllabic flow. I find that to be really interesting because, once again, it takes something very punky and transforms it, looks at it from a different angle. It's something else that kind of caught me off guard, but this one I grew to enjoy quite a bit. And the chorus is exceptionally uh, catchy because of these ideas that to me are brought over from rap more so than uh, hardcore or, or punk. And uh, are kind of meshing those to find the strengths of both sides. It keeps the energy and animosity of the punkier delivery, but gives the words a bit more weight and import than I would typically find within punk music. And I really like that combination, especially for something like this. In fact, um, I'd say the vocals. Yeah, okay. This is a good one. Death Grips. A bit different from MC Rides, but uh, kind of the same energy, the same uh, point of origin. This dude just took it in a little bit different direction. But musically, I mean, those two projects couldn't be any more different. I think that's what makes this fun, too. It is a smorgasbord of ideas and sounds that I don't think I've heard before. And that's pretty neat. I'm going to take a second to check out some lyrics, and then we're going to wrap this one up. Now, I could be wrong here. There's not a lot of words, given how much I thought I was getting into. I think a lot of that comes down to the bridge repeating the first verse and the chorus just being two lines long, which pretty much just gives us our two verses for any sort of depth. But I think it's about wanting to enjoy might be the wrong word for it but feel your emotions even the negative ones the chorus says i just want to feel it not delete it something real and distinguished i just want to feel more alive it could be an idea also that they're tired of feeling numb they want to feel anything whatever it is good or bad as long as it's something that makes them feel human like they're not dreaming Verse 1 mentions that they feel like a passerby in the midst of a storm. Their stray thoughts takes in all the pressure that they've worn. It says it burns its way to the front of your mind, spending all of your time counting drops from the sky. This idea that even the small things are overwhelming. There's so much pressure put on your shoulders and it comes from stray thoughts. It's not anything big. It's these what-if scenarios you create. Little things that shouldn't occupy your mind, but do. Verse 2 says, I came all this way, and now you look at me strange. Tensions release when it starts to drain. I faint. Don't want to rush it, yet deconstruct it. Just want to see for myself what I've been missing. Again, to me, it's about uh, feeling under pressure and wanting to get rid of all that. It says that the tension releases. It says uh, it starts to drain and I faint, but I don't want to rush it. I, I don't want this feeling to be over too soon. Ha having the pressure released is something I've been looking forward to. To find this, this uh, tranquility for a moment. And then like I said, the rest of the choruses are all the same. 
and the bridge has repeated lines from the first one, from the first verse. So I think that's really what it's about then. Having too much on your mind and wanting to find some clarity, and whether that clarity comes from negative or positive emotions, as long as it helps you feel alive and not just succumbing to whatever the latest anxiety is to make you feel like you have control over your life. Yeah. I don't think this pairs well with the music. That is to say, I can't, well, I can't find any thread, emotional or narrative, that would make me think, oh yeah, the, you know, the music tells is part of the lyrics too. To me, it's a song that stands on its own, and the lyrics work more fluidly with it, uh, with the delivery more so than the words, but, you know, as usual, those are just my opinions. <clears throat> Let me know what you thought of this track. If there's anything that stood out to you, anything you'd like to add on to what I said, maybe you have a different interpretation of the lyrics, and maybe that does fit better with the music. Maybe you have a different perspective on the music that does work well with the lyrics. Put all that stuff down in the comments section. Above that, in the description box, you'll find a link to Linktree takes you to this menu right here. You can find links to my music, ways to support the channel, a link to the Discord server, and so much more. Above that, if you could, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. I greatly appreciate all three of those. All right, that wraps this one up. We do have some brand new music coming up next. Otherwise, I'll be back on Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. UTC. We're going to check out a full album. Until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical, of the music you listen to. And have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you choose to watch my videos.